our time to join our senior analyst, Charles Fakroha, who is also a stockbroker, and right now at the floor of the stock exchange uh, where International Brewers PLC is presenting its published third quarter 2022 on audited result over the uh, the posted that over the weekend and now they're presenting the facts behind the figures and of course Charles Fakroha is right here to help us better understand the facts behind these figures. Uh, Charles, Charles, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you very much to you. Thank you for yeah, so so help us better understand what are the facts that the international breweries is presenting for these figures uh, that they have posted. Yes, it's the um, international brewery PLC that uh, apparently part of the uh, happening beverages worldwide. It's a uh, uh, fact behind the figure presentation they uh, are doing, and then uh, the head of the uh, Capital market division that gives you a magazine to give the opening presentation. And right now, we are having the managing director of the National Bureau PLC giving the opening speech. He has just told us about the, uh, the, the operating environment, the happening in the Indonesia, uh, Orbita, and of course, uh, somewhere in the United States as the gateway. And that is one of the biggest uh, so now he's talking about their strategy, you know, the operating environment and then what they are going to do in terms of the needs of their customers. And I'm particularly impressed because they're the local company, that's why they have international presence all over the world, that their customers are here in Nigeria and then they have a strategy to increase in the environment where they are. All right, so are there any talks about how they actually, it does international breweries topped uh, the, you know, the loser's chart after the stock market result yesterday, uh, they topped the loser's chart, closing at yeah, about know, uh, four naira. Yeah, you know, they, and that's the more reason why they need to explain this is the fact behind the video. It's just two, three records, it's not a clear report. You know, so, and of course, looking at your operation environment, just like it's then moving forward, uh, that is starting to be telling us now that uh, they are going to uh, correct all those uh, numbers and to optimize the activity. The fact is not speaking about the strategy right now, as I think. Uh, all Charles, I don't know if you can hear me, but let's also look at the fact that uh, their revenue grew uh, slowly and they have attributed that to uh, lower volume growth due to supply chain constraint. What are the explanations given for this? Yeah, of course, you need to know that uh, the operating environment in the land is not a lot of competition. So we have other pieces of the market. And of course, the disposable income. Of the average Nigeria in terms of the buying and interest is also very low. So it's a very it's a very difficult challenge. Then with their strategy and what they are doing in terms of the passing the environment. So that's the right line we're talking about the the crowd buying their environment. Okay. So you can see that for six years they've been doing that. The the NB is currently telling us that they are going to spend a little bit of partnership in their own community. But what about the expenses that led to a loss for the period? And that's to a tune of about 3.1 billion naira compared to uh, 2.2 billion naira the same period last year. Did they give any reasons for this? Of course, the reasons are not perfect. They are being limited as they are listening to the speech. The reasons are not perfect because of the difficult operating environment in the country, cost of business, um, inflation, of the assets to foreign, these are some of the from them. But then the company is told to see that the the company is told to the company is told to see that they surmount all that challenges 
And um, we are sure that the next time they will be here, they will be able to do that. Mm. All right. So looking at uh, the body language and what the stock exchange looks like right now, how do you... How do you propose that uh, the international breweries would go about uh, their, you know, sales and all of that? We, we have seen an increase in sales uh, from this report uh, right now. But what do you foresee after this presentation? Okay. Well, first of all, let me say this is the fourth part behind the people's decision. Post COVID-19, um, some of the officials are like something is done for quite some time. They are back. I'll say some of my colleagues, some brokers who are also just coming in for the event, the posture of the international period, and that is why they keep the bold pen, that they want to be the first to do this as a physical event, because they want to let the investing community, the stock brokers, aware that, they're, yes, they are going to ensure that they take their business to the next level. So mm. I all want to be presented, you know, I, I just want, uh, okay, very short already, uh, to tell you that the managing director is really serious, and from this huge presentation, we're very worried to give a round of applause. You can see that uh, this company wants to really take the business to the next level, and they are going to give the other people the run for their money. But they're not getting a round of applause right now for some of the strategies uh, they are just mentioned. Mm. All right, any final thoughts on this presentation, Charles Fakra? My final presentation, my final thought is I want to give kudos for the to the NGX Limited. Yes, things they have shown that uh, they are resilient because when last we had it on the green was about uh, three years ago, and coming back to have the event again is like something very refreshing. And I can like see the public communication people, everybody is looking very optimistic. They are happy. People coming face to face physically, this is something you've had experienced for the past uh, three years. So it's going to be a new door for the exchange limited and of course for the company. But for Nigerian jury, I have uh, international jury final me to be the best to come to do this fact behind these people post COVID 19 to show that they are really ready to meet all the regulatory requirements of the investing at the same time, getting in touch with their investors. All right. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed with that presentation going on right now at the floor of the stock exchange. Charles Fakroha. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I hope to come with your visual. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a nice time there. Yeah. Good to come. Thank Business you. and human activity as commercial bus drivers in Lagos State under the aegis of the Joint Drivers Welfare Association of Nigeria, J1, commenced a seven-day strike after its meeting with the Lagos State Government ended in a deadlock. We will be scrutinizing this after the break. Please stay with us. <laughs>